Jacksonville, Florida. It's time. It's time to talk about Welcome to Rockville. The lineup has been announced, as you can see, several bands up on the mural already. Tool, Corn, Rob Zombie, Shine Down, Judas Priest. This is going to be an awesome show. Let's talk about it. Hey everybody, welcome back. That intro for Rockville was shot three months ago at this point, and we've been oh God, that's right. lollygagging this whole time, breaking out the old words. <laughs> um, <laughs> since that time, we've had um, tons of people consistently asking if we we're going to Rockville this year, and obviously the answer is we are going to Rockville. <laughs> this is our sixth year going. Um, this was our first year, 2014. So we'll be back again this year. We did pay full price for Rockville tickets this year, uh, unfortunately, or maybe fortunately for you guys, if you waited to buy tickets until now and you were on the fence, if you s search the Facebook groups and things like that, tickets are on sale now on Friday uh, Saturday. Sat for single days, Friday yeah. single day or Saturday single day for 20 bucks a ticket at this point. So if you guys have procrastinated, which is usually a bad thing, actually works out to be a good thing here because... Uh, the ticket prices are ridiculously cheap. They're papering the show at this point. Yeah, they actually said that, that you can get the $20 tickets if you have a Sunday ticket. But at that at this point, who knows? <laughs> yeah. So, um, first things first, um, before we get into things. This was a uh, view, view from the... Or views from the <laughs> cheap seats last year. Last year we went legit. Um, and the Rockville folks were really cool and they gave us official media. Um, that said, we flew too close to the sun and uh, we're not back this year as official media. And I'll explain uh, just very quickly. And I, this is no knock against the people no. at Rockville for this because I want to say the folks that work in the media department and promotions are, are very cool. Um, and basically when you are media for Rockville, um, it's it's enforce that there's no video uh, of any of the performances uh, whatsoever and that's kind of where we've made our mark as a channel is at least giving you a taste you. and a review yeah. um, you know in, in the best that we can for fair use to say you know that the, the show was um, good mm -hmm. or not so um, they were more than accommodating again this year and saying you know you guys can come back if, if you didn't record pants um, but quite honestly, the only thing left to not to, the only thing left to record that's not band stuff is kind of the stuff that we go over in this video preparing for mm -hmm. Rockville, and that's like what food is available and what, what drinks how to bring and, things and things in and all that stuff. So, um, and we've done a series of Rockville videos to date, and you guys can check out those videos. We'll put a link. Um, I think it's up here <laughs> where you guys will be able to see that, but. We want to go over uh, what the lineup is for this year, um, what some of the tips are for attending Rockville if you haven't attended in the past, um, and things that you should bring in, things that you can't yeah. bring in, and, and things like that. So, um, first things first, we'll go to the lineup for this year. So, the headliners Friday is Corn, Evanescence, Chevelle, uh, Flogging Molly. And now the Crystal Method um, is a replacement band. Um, Kill Switch Engage is in there. Um, those are the headliners, at least. There's a lot of bands that fill in the days. Every day, at least Friday and Saturday, the doors open at 11.30 a.m. It used to be 11, and they moved it back. Because mm -hmm. there's, I think, fewer bands playing this year than there have been in, in prior years. Um, Saturday, the headliner is Rob Zombie with Shine Down, Judas Priest, The Cult, Skillet, In This Moment, Black Label Society. To me, as a as a concert goer, if I was ever looking to pay twenty bucks for a concert, that would, Saturday would be it because it <laughs> yeah, is stacked. Saturday is like um, awesome. Sunday headliner is Tool uh, with Incubus, Bring Me the Horizon, Papa Roach, The Struts, and Mashuga. Um, so having those as the the headliners, uh, you know, there, there's plenty of bands during the day too, and usually the the um, bands that are on earlier are usually the more of interest to me this year. Yeah, I have a as much. I have a handful of bands that I want to see as soon as I walk in the door. So, so if you're interested in in those bands, uh, you want to check the Rockville 
uh, website or the app at this point because the schedule is released mm -hmm. and I know there's always bands that conflict with each other that are on stage at the same time. Sometimes they overlap just by a few minutes and sometimes yeah, they're so completely half an hour uh, at the same time. So <laughs> like this year I know uh, Fever 333 and the Architects are, the same, are the same exact time and uh, people are I think a five out. minute difference of start and finish but that's yeah because I wanted to see both. I actually wanted to see Fever 33 and then jump over and see the Architects for a minute, but <laughs> now it's like, no. And then Friday, there's a bit of an overlap with Beartooth and Tom Morello, which is But only a five minute. I want, to see, I want to see the whole thing. I and plus, know, but it's only five minutes. <laughs> bands on, like the bands on Saturday where it starts to get stacked, where there's stages in, in different areas, and we'll put a graphic of the, the layout. layout right here for you guys to check out. Um, and it goes from one kind of main stage to the other main stage. In years past, there used to be four stages, and then there was also a time where uh, both of like the lower level stages were together, and both of the headliner stages were together. together. And it was great because you could stay in one spot and be able to watch the Back set forth, here and yeah, watch and the set the over there. Set, yeah. um, but it's not like that now, where you need to you traverse to one, to a, a bit of a <laughs> distance to, to get in between. Yeah, and. The problem is, as soon as one set ends, the other one is beginning exactly at that, that moment, so... So you see like a herd, just like whoosh, going yeah. to where you want to go. Saturday, Judas Priest is playing. Um, it is... It, we saw them a couple of years ago. Uh, they're still putting on a, a master class, so you know, you'd be cheating yourself if you don't go to check out Judas Priest. Mm -hmm. um, and you got to be front row center. <laughs> <laughs> figure we probably won't be front row center. Well, there is. A, I don't care how I'm going to find my way up there, but I will. <laughs> there, there is a, one thing that you guys should know because we're going to be a little bit all over the place. There is a lot of moshing and a lot of yeah, crowd surfing as well. And if you're Beyond dead the middle, center, the yeah. dead center, you figure it's mosh land and you get to the front. Yeah, the there's side a lot of, where I'm going to be then. <laughs> yeah, there's, a, there's a lot of legs and feet and things like that. And that dirt are, that, flying. That come and hit you. If um, on one of the stages, it's going to be dirty. <laughs> but Judas Priest raps and then Shine Down plays and then back where Judas Priest was playing yeah, um, is Rob Zombie. Zombie. Um, so very difficult to be able to get to all of those unless you stay towards the back, which... I, I gotta be honest, I'm getting old. That's where I watch <laughs> yeah. the majority of the show, so it is Halfway legit. Back, view from the cheap seats. Three quarters of the way back, yeah. Um, so the, the website is, is loaded now with the schedule. You guys should check it out, um, see the bands that you want to be able to see. One of the bands that I would uh, recommend, and, and honestly, the, the band that I want to see the most out of anybody um, that is playing over the three days. Um, is the the damn things and that's the side band with uh scott ian mm -hmm. and uh the guys from fallout boy and uh every time i die um the two records that they have out awesome stuff yeah they're i think it's it's going to be um you know one of those uh best kept secrets uh which is maybe not best kept secret anymore because we're talking <laughs> about them but um very anxious to be able to see them play live um, and Black Label is back again too. No, Black we've, Label we've, is just epic. So we've yeah. seen Black Label uh, a lot, <laughs> you know, the dozens of times now. Um, one of my bands I want. No, oh, I was gonna say one of the bands I really want to see is Light the Torch, and those are one ones that are in like middle of the day. They are incredible. Now the one thing I'm not going to talk about is ho hotels around the area at this point. We talked about hotels in our video last year. You guys can check that out or search. Um, YouTube for it. The only hotel that I would say that I would not favor anybody staying in would be the, uh, I think it's the Crown Plaza. Uh, they might have changed their name. Is it the Hilton? I don't know. Okay. It's it's usually the hotel that is partnered um, first with like the VIP packages. Mm -hmm. uh, we had a really genuinely awful experience there last year. One the thing, whole time. I mean all three days. The other thing that you guys should consider, and this is probably not a problem for younger people or people that are looking to go to the show and party, is uh, virtually every hotel around the area, and we've done our fair share of staying around that area, mm -hmm. when you're up there for Rockville, people are in the hotel and partying and all night. <laughs> all so night. you, you, know, <laughs> you do your best to get a room. If you're not looking for that, uh, maybe on the upper floor or away, you know, further down the hallway from everybody else. Um, not the first floor. So, yeah. <laughs> um, Couple things that we want to talk about, things that you should bring in. Um, be very 
careful to check the Rockville website for what you can't bring in because they're very specific very, about very specific. no backpacks and mm -hmm. specific sizes for anything, you know, like you're I don't think you can even bring in a purse anymore, right? Everything no, you is... can bring a little, um, like a wallet thing, you know, like a hand ones yeah. with the straps. Um, you can bring in um, a plastic. I actually should bring show my bag that I actually carry, but um, I bought it like four years ago, and it's a um, a messenger we can bag. Insert a picture here. Yeah, it's a messenger bag. It's this big. It's perfect. It fits all the things I need, and I can carry it all day long, or I can put it in the lockers. And it's clear plastic. And it's clear plastic. Clear plastic bag roll. If you're going to any NFL games or sporting events, you guys know uh, what I'm talking about. That's what's allowed in the venue. I think and it's tw uh, it's supposed to be 12 by 6 by 12 or something, like the biggest size you can bring in. If you think that you're going to bring in something and it's not allowed, um, they, no. they, there is a really there's thorough a, security. There's a big pile of room. bags yep. at the gate. Which brings us to when you get to the event and the doors are at 11.30, the bands will start a little bit later, but... Um, there will be a line that will, you know, if you get there early enough, that the line of all lines to get into the <laughs> event, and there's two entry points, the lines go for thousands Huns, of people. Hundreds of people, and yeah. It is it takes a while. slow because they go through everything meticulously. Last year, though, they actually did a lot better than in previous years because they had, I think they had at least six lines across and everybody was coming in two to a table. So it was working a lot better than previous. Previously, I think they had three, and it was just, oh. <laughs> If you don't want to carry around all the stuff that you're bringing in, they have lockers that you can rent, but you yeah. would be well advised to rent the lockers in advance of you going. You can rent them now yeah, online, online on the Yeah, the if they still site. have them available. And that comes in clutch because carrying around stuff all day long can be a bummer. So if you want to buy shirts, if you have a couple of things you want to, you know, get, and you have no place to put it because you just got to carry it around with you, throw it in the locker. And I actually, um, in the past few years, bought the locker for the weekend and I had a couple of friends, you know, use it with me, you know. The and the is, lockers usually also have uh, charging plugs. stations in them too, like yes. plugs so you can charge your phone when you're, when you're out and walking around, if you can walk around without a phone for a bit. Yeah, I mean, just, you know, get an adapter if you have a special phone or whatever and plug it in, leave it in there for a while and come back and you're like, oh, fully charged. <laughs> so, um, in addition to the lockers and bringing your bag and things that you should bring in your bag, you need to bring sunblock. Oh, I'm sure every, you know, 90% no. of the people that are watching this are from Florida. Yeah. And you realize you want to bring sunblock, but you can't bring, bring aerosol, aerosol sunblock. So mm -hmm. if you're bringing the spray kind, they're going to make you leave it at the security gate. And you're yeah. going to want to bring the tube that you can squeeze. Yep. To be able to uh, bring sunblock. And they try, they, they have sunblock inside for sale, but you're going to pay like five times the price. Yeah of what you would do if you just bring the right one with you. Yeah, just get one of the squeeze tubes and shove it in your pocket and you're good. Um, you're gonna wanna bring cash. They do have ATMs there, but you're gonna get uh, ripped off blind yeah. for your service fees. Um, cash, most of the vendors, like the um, beer and soda and water and stuff, uh, it's mostly cash, cash based, so you're gonna need cash. Um, and speaking of water, if you guys are familiar with going to like Vans Warped Tour and there's water stations everywhere, that there's doesn't no. happen here. <laughs> I can't express to you enough. Was it two years ago they ran out of water? Yeah, water used to be like three bucks a bottle and it was the regular Dasani size. Yeah, they did run out of water two years ago, I think. Yeah. Um, last year they kept the price, I think, the same for the water, but they mm. gave you like a smaller sampler size of water. It was a skinnier bottle than you would normally buy in the store. I think it was store. a 16 ounce instead of... I think like, it was like 12 well, instead of Yeah, six, it was like some, a smaller whatever. size. It, it wasn't the regular size water. And as far as water fountains go, this is in a, a park that's across the street from Everbank. Yeah. I know of uh, one set of water fountains and they were over towards like the VIP area. So there's not a lot of places that you can go to if you think that you get one bottle of water and refill, and refill through the whole time. It is not Vans Warped Tour or these other festivals that have water or, or and refreshment if stations. if you're not from Florida, um, the water doesn't taste that good. In the water fountains. <laughs> One thing to note also, when you get your bottle of water, if you're buying water at the place, they normally take the cap off the water because they don't yeah. want you to fill it up with, you know, a bottle like with urine or anything else and throw it at stage. So um, they take your bottle cap when they give you your bottle of water. It's beat, uh, yeah, but the one way around it. Yeah, you can't, if you want to put your water down and it knocks over, good, there goes the water. You can bring in bottle caps, but yeah. you didn't hear it from us. <laughs> 
Um, you know, if you put that in your bag yeah, or in your or pockets, it's not going to set off a metal detector if it's no. in your pocket. And, you know, bring a couple different sizes for your like, like water a and soda. Like a or other type, so you have two different, just in case. Yeah, that way you can at least keep your water sealed, um, you know, when you're in the, the, the experience. And a Gatorade cap. Yeah, Gatorade too. Is it Powerade that they have? Or Powerade. I think it's Powerade, Powerade that they have, or they've had in the past. Um, one thing that might be a good idea is like a dirt bandana or something to cover your face. Uh, if you're planning, you know, one of, two, two out of the three stages are in dirt, dirt. and in the grass. And um, what you find every time when you come back to your hotel or wherever you're going <laughs> you, back home or anything else, you have a layer you're covered dirt. in dirt <laughs> and then you have it in your lungs, it's in your nose. If yeah. you go to cough or you go to blow your nose, nose, it's completely black. Yeah, So pretty gross. You want to bring maybe a, a bandana or something to be able to put across your face. Um, I would also say bring comfortable shoes. It probably goes without saying, but you're going to be standing up the whole time. Yeah. The main stage is on asphalt, it's so on, it's basically yeah. in the parking lot, uh, and it gets uh, it can be hot and it can be um, you know hard ground. It's you know I'd say bring it's comfortable not shoes. You could also bring a poncho. A couple years ago, and I'll try to include this clip here. Um, I don't know if it was two, three, three years ago, I think. I think it was three years we ago. We basically had like mini tornadoes that had touched down around the river mm -hmm. in uh, Jacksonville when we were in the concert. The only place to go for shelter, by the way, was underneath An overpass. Uh, the overpass for the cars to go by. And it was, um, it was wide open, but... <laughs> but everybody, if you didn't have a poncho, you were completely soaked. Yes. But I'm going to go back to the water uh, and the beer, and, you know, I think... This year they're offering this uh, horn cup that they announced today. It's kind of like a Viking horn. It's 22 ounces. Gosh, it's 30 it. bucks Sorry. for the the horn. Yep. In pr prior years they had this uh, really kick-ass mug um, that was like 30 ounces or 32 um, ounces. Actually, Rockville responded to someone online and said the refills are $11. So $11 for a refill yeah. for 22 ounce beer. If you're getting pours, I guess at the the yeah, tent that I has uh, taps. Otherwise. You can go through money like this at mm -hmm. Rockville, um, between the sodas being five bucks, water three to five dollars, yeah. and Powerade's five bucks. The beers are ten bucks, you know, at least. So mm -hmm. um, it's it's uh, a lot of money. You get to the food portion, <laughs> and it's all kind of like food trucky type things. I mean, mm -hmm. and people, you know, we go back every year, and you have Island Noodles is there every year, and, and they're good. there's a mac and cheese place that's there every year. But you know, you're getting portions that are basically like twelve to fifteen to seventeen bucks yeah. per person per meal. Just average fifteen dollars for one meal. You yeah, know, so you it's basically. not quality food, it's just subsidence to it's be able to get you through food. the day. Yeah. Um, I would recommend before you go to the show to load up on a big breakfast. If your hotels, if you're staying at, have like big breakfast, load them up. And <laughs> you know, maybe bring uh, I, I think you can you bring, can bring granola, bars granola bars or bars. power bars or like, stuff like that. Not a whole box of them, but I mean, you can. I've done it, I've actually brought um. You know the the granola bars in my bag a couple of a day and when you're hungry you just eat that and you're good for a while there is a, a monster tent every year as well and they have free monsters it's not the green monster but it's basically what products they want to try out or see mm -hmm. if people like so it might be like you know like last year with mango was one of the flavors and we always we've joked around for the last year since then like purple <laughs> and I, I don't even know what purple was i it's don't just even know the, it's the just purple. purple flavor um and purple was pretty good um, I I can only drink the non-carbonated ones, so yeah, they had like a like a Arnold Palmer type yeah. tea thing, and um, but you know obviously you can't load up on monsters all the time. The one thing you want to be sure of, if it is nice outside. Last year we had really good weather, but prior years it was really oh, hot. So and if you're going through liquids, there's a lot of people that party out very quickly. Yeah. And you you know we're obviously if you have watched this channel for any period of time, <laughs> you know I enjoy a nice frosty adult beverage. Every or ten, <laughs> but uh, you know it. Uh, if you're having those ten beverages, you're going to be face down in the dirt pretty quick. Yeah, because and of the, the heat. heat. There's no. Well, th they rearranged last year the way things were set up to where the overpass actually was a reprieve from the heat because they put set up tables, uh, like picnic tables, so you can eat, and um, it was it was wonderful. I mean, it was amazing that we could all everybody that could fit in there would just sit and be out of the sun. It was good. And then I think we're almost through this list already. Yeah. Although this is probably like an, an hour and a half video. <laughs> uh, 
Um, the one thing that's changed this year than, that they have not had in prior years is that every person that goes to Rockville this year gets this RFID Bracelet. wristband. Yeah. And it's something that VIP mm -hmm. had last year and media had and the artists and stuff like that. So like last year for uh, like Jess and I with media, yeah. you have this RFID bracelet. Once you, you have to register it before you go. So mm -hmm. I can imagine one of the big holdups in line this year is going to be if you didn't People register your van and things, it's going to be, you know, clutch to bomb. Yeah, even though you get your van and you're like, all right, I got it on, I'm going to go. Nope, you're still going to have to register it online. I guess it has a code or something on it. I didn't, I, had, yeah. I don't know where it is. I don't know. Um, it's on the counter. <laughs> but um, the, the other thing about it is once you put it on, um, you really can't loosen it. So, no, you can't. Um, you want to leave. Uh, you can't. You don't want to leave enough that it's going to fall off, but you want to make it tight enough that it just stays put. Um, it's got a little kind of like bracket on it that slides down to make it tight. tight. And last year, uh, you know, we played his, around with it, of course, with the media, and it, you know, it's basically like a tourniquet all yeah, of a sudden. Off. Well, also, if you do put it on too tight, when you get to the um, place. You can actually ask for a new one, but you have to pay $25. They will look at your bill that you got, you know, your receipt that you paid for, check your ID, make sure it matches, and they will take off your band and put a new one on you. So there is a reprieve if you do something stupid and tie it too tight, but who wants to pay another 25 bucks for that? So. Yeah. <laughs> So those are all of the tips or things that we could tell you other than, you know, parking. I think everyday parking is normally like 20 bucks or something like that to be able to park That's the average. around and it's, they don't necessarily have like the official parking or things like you can park in Everbank usually mm -hmm. or over by like the Jumbo Shrimp uh, Stadium. And um, and all along the, the main street coming yeah, there's in, just there's a lot of lots. places that have lots that you can just jump into and walk a little bit. There's a water taxi from the hotels most of the time. I don't Across want to tell you that river. it always runs because we've had, it, you know, when we did use it, it was very hit and miss. Yeah. Um, to, to be able to get across. And sometimes it seems like, you, are they ever going to show up? But yeah. um, what about bands? Anything in particular that jumps out at you that you want to see? make that bigger. <laughs> That's <laughs> Friday on schedule. This time. All right. Friday, I don't think I really have too much. Oh, wait, no, this is Friday. I'm sorry. Yes. I want to see Light the Torch. And then Bear Tooth, um, and then Tom Morello. Uh, oh, I want to see Flogging Molly. I never saw them before, so so I'm gonna be back and forth between the two main stages. The third stage, I don't want to see anybody. There's only two bands that I want to see on Friday at this point. It's Bear Tooth and Tom Morello. If you guys have not checked out Beartooth before, we've seen them a bunch of times, and you could probably look for, uh, if you do a search on YouTube for Beartooth and Cheap Seats, a couple of videos might pop up. We saw them, I think it was last year at this point, with Beartooth and Silverstein, where they did mm -hmm. the Silvertooth um, is, Tour, is real, yeah. um, and they played a, like a pop-up show in downtown Orlando, and it was ridiculous. Their we've show, seen them like five five times or so, something like yeah. that now. A couple of times at Rockville, and then we saw and then on Warp Tour. Warp Tour. They are incredible. I play them. I actually, the last couple of days, I've been blasting them out of my car. <laughs> but um, Corn, uh, Corn and Evanescence. Well, Corn has been at Rockville all the time. One of the big knocks is yeah, that Corn is just always there. Yeah, I actually it was. It's on the shirt. Twenty fifteen. Okay. Uh, Twenty fourteen. <laughs> Corn and who else was on there? <laughs> I don't know. Corn and is that Seven. No, yeah, on the bottom. Oh, Rob Zombie. <laughs> Corn yeah. and Rob Zombie together. Evanescence. Uh, you know, I don't know why like they're even playing but yeah. when you get to saturday the bands that i want to see um crowbot the damn things um tremonte i saw the last time that tremonte played um at rockville mm -hmm. and that's like three years ago and you're gonna get this repeated pattern here these bands play the same festivals over Every and over year. again they might skip a year or um, two and then come back we just saw her in this moment, so I'm not necessarily needing to see them. Skillet, we saw a couple months ago. They were yeah, awesome. They were incredible. They put on a really good show, so Skillet would be worth checking out. Mm -hmm. um, and The Cult, I'd like to see again. We've, we've seen The Cult We've now. seen The Cult a few Twi times. Yeah, twice over the last Well, we saw years. them at Rockville. Yeah, and then we saw and them up there for Guns N' Roses. Yeah. Um, Shinedown is awesome. The last time that we saw Shinedown at Rockville, they played after Disturbed, and I thought their set was kind of weak. Uh, but yeah, but then we saw them on tour by, you know, headlining and they just killed it. 
And by the way, when uh, Shinedown, um, if folks complain about the ticket prices for like Rockville, Shinedown just played in Orlando at House of Blues um, over the Christmas break, three oh, days yeah, in a row. Days. And the tickets were like $125 a day. So it was basically with the same price as going to a Rockville, Rockville. show for all three days to see Shinedown alone, no opening act for one, one day. One. Yeah. And you know, I want to see Judas Priest and um, I'll, I'll see some of Rob Zombie. <laughs> yes. These shows, by the way, if you run into oh. us, you may not run into both of us at the same time, too, because <laughs> we go with a pack of people I'm, and everybody splits up. Yeah, I'm, there's some things he doesn't want to see and I want to see. Um, Bad Flower, that's one band I really want to see. Um, I might want to see Boston Manor. I heard a couple of songs on the radio, they were okay. Um, of course, so it's Bad Flower, Damn Things, Black Label Society, and then Skillet. Shine down, I might see a little bit, and then I'm gonna run over to Judas Priest, because I I want to see I'm a, my favorite band is Judas Priest. So, <laughs> by the way, uh, Mary, we've had this conversation before, <laughs> and I think if you're our age and you can appreciate this, the argument in the schoolyard forever was, Iron do you Maiden? choose Iron Maiden or, or Judas, Judas Priest? Priest? Uh, I'm Iron Maiden. I'm Judas Priest. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> I think that's like the only <laughs> disagreement that we have. <laughs> yeah. Um, Sunday, I, I'm really open. The Interrupters, we've seen a bunch of times. I like They're them. They're really good. Papa Roach, I'm interested in. I'm really interested in seeing Meshuggah. I haven't seen them before. Oh, I want to see Grandson. Um, oh, yeah. And Grandson, I do want to see some of Tool. Yeah, Grandson, Fever 333, The Architects, of course, that are on the same time. Incubus, uh, I'll be on the floor banging my head on the concrete because I'd rather <laughs> do that or stick you, a pen in my ear. You, what's really funny Incubus. about that is I like Incubus, but I have to be in a mood to listen to them. You know, it's like, that's on the radio. I'm like, all right, I'll listen they to this. They suck. But most of the time I'm like, oh, skip. Yeah. <laughs> the Glorious Sons we'd see again. I'd love to see the Glorious Sons too. Uh, and Shapes. Yeah, <laughs> see, Sunday to me is another big day for me because I want to see um, Glorious Sons, Shapes. I I don't want to see Dorothy. Um, oh, I'm sorry, I do want to see Dorothy. Um, Grandson, I can't read that. This uh, I've never seen the Struts. <laughs> the interrupt. It's like I'm just gonna be all over the place. So if you see red hair, just pass them by. Say, hey. <laughs> yeah. And so that kind of does it, I think, for us, yeah. for Rockville. Hopefully this quenches the thirst of everybody. If you guys are going to Rockville, uh, let us know in the comments below what you're looking forward to seeing. Yeah. Uh, if you see us at Rockville, we, we it, it, Rockville, much like you know, we didn't go to Star Wars Celebration this time around, or you know, but we seem to have this group of, of uh, aura or people that com come up and say hello. We've met yep. a lot of great people at Rockville. Oh, yeah. Same way that we normally do at like Celebration or uh, Megacon or um, Halloween Horror Nights type and of events. And Rockville is just like a big hangout. Yeah. I mean, it's like so awesome. The people that go there, when you're waiting online to get in, everybody's so friendly. And the, if, you, if you don't have sunblock, they're like, hey, you want some sunblock? You know, it. Everybody's so awesome. Want some roofies? <laughs> I don't know. No. Anyhow, that does it for us for our Rockville preview. We look mm -hmm. forward to seeing you guys. We look forward to having fun at the event. Hopefully, we'll see you guys there. Yeah. Uh, Pray for have, some decent weather, not if, really hot. <laughs> if you have questions, uh, leave them below as well. Hopefully, we're able to answer them. Uh, but thanks a lot for watching. Thank you very much for all of your likes and your comments and your subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great night. We'll mm -hmm. see you guys. <laughs>